I'm Dr. O. Today we're working on a 2008 Chevy Cobalt. It's uh, a 2.2 liter Ecotec, and I'm going to show you how to replace your spark plugs. Uh, first, you're going to begin by uh, removing the plastic engine cover. Pretty simple. Take your oil cap off. Just kind of give it a pull. That comes right off. Just set that to the side. Put your oil cap back on so you don't get anything down the hole. Um, you'll see here four individual coils on the side of the engine. You'll see these little, little gray locks on there. Pretty simple to remove, just take a small screwdriver on either side of them. Just kind of wedge them back a little bit. They go back that far. I've already gone through and done these three. Then you're just going to push down on this plastic tab and then wiggle the connector off. You're going to do that on all four of them. Okay, once you get all the connectors off, um, you can see there's a lot of dirt and dust and, and junk around the coils. Uh, if you have access to a blow nozzle, uh, just take and blow that dirt out of the way. That'll, that'll prevent getting anything down in the spark plug holes. Next thing you're going to want to do is just remove the four bolts uh, that hold the ignition coils on. Uh, should use just a 10 millimeter socket. Here at the shop, we use, uh, use a lot of air tools. We'll go through and pop them off. Now, now that you got those out, <clears throat> I'm go ahead and remove your ignition coils. Uh, sometimes you just kind of wiggle these a little bit and pull up. They should come right out. Now, in this particular one, there's no specific order, so you don't really have to worry about uh, uh, where they go or where they came from. They're all the same. Um, and again, at this point, if you just take your blow nozzle and blow the dirt off, blow down in each hole, make sure that all the, uh, all the debris is out of the way of the plug hole. Alright, so at this point you've got all your coils removed, uh, you've cleaned all the debris out of the way. Uh, you're going to want to use a 5.8 socket, uh, preferably a 5.8 spark plug socket. They've got a, just a small piece of rubber down the middle that will aid in removing the spark plug. Um, and I guess it's fair to mention that you should do this when the engine is cold to the touch. Uh, you don't take the chance of stripping out any threads. Um, so we'll go through here and just crack all the spark plugs loose. And just take them out uh, one at a time. Once you get them loose, you should be able to spin them out with your fingers. Alright, so you go through, they're all the same. You just You can get them all out, and if you're using a spark plug socket, they'll be they'll be right stuck right in the socket. And you just take and remove them, and uh, that's pretty much all there is to remove them. Pretty pretty simple task for anybody. Now that you've got all the plugs removed, you're going to want to take and uh, prepare your new plugs to be installed. Um, so you know, make sure you've got the appropriate number. Uh, we're using AC Delco plugs on this car. Uh, they're the they're the exact OEM plugs that we're taking out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open those up. Over here, you have a, have a look. Um, you take your new plugs. Uh, you're going to want to check the spark plug gap on them. Uh, these plugs are all supposed to be, be pre-gapped. They come with a, with a plastic sleeve over the end of them to, to protect them. Um, but you just never know in the process if they've ever been dropped. You know, the box has been dropped without the sleeve in it and, you know, it's whacked the electrode shut. So, uh, the specs on the Cobalt is 37 to 43 thousandths of an inch. I'm going to check them using a 40 thousandths inch wire gapper. And it's just a matter of sticking the wire gapper in between the two grounding electrodes and uh, just checking the, checking the space there. So, you can see this one's right on the money. And then you just go down through with, with all four of them. Just checking the gap. You can see this one here is a little bit tight. So we're going to have to bend that electrode open a little bit. So bend it just a little bit. Go back through and recheck it. That one got opened up a little bit too much. So you want to tighten them. When you're only working with thousandths of an inch, it's a pretty, pretty delicate process. So that right there is right on the money now. Check the other ones. Yeah, that one feels good. I'll just check your last one. With these fine wire platinum plugs, uh, I'd highly recommend using a, a wire type gapper as opposed to the 
Uh, the spark plug gap that looks like a like a 50 cent piece, the ramp style. These uh, platinum electrodes are very delicate and can break off very easily, so uh, always use caution with these. Um, next thing we're gonna do to install them, um, I use a, a rubber spark plug installer. You can use like a piece of uh, 3 8 fuel line or anything that's gonna hook onto the spark plug here. You just kind of push it on, that way you can reach down in the hole and, and start these by hand. Um, one thing you'll find a lot of controversy on is uh, whether or not to use never seize on your spark plugs. Um, here at the shop we do, we just put a, a small dab on, on the threads. Um, you don't want to overdo it. And then uh, we'll go over to the engine and, and start putting them in. Okay, so you just take your prepared spark plug, go down in the hole, and you'll just spin it. Just spin it by hand. You'll, you'll feel it start. You don't want to feel any binding, but you should be able to put it in all the way by hand. Uh, never use a socket or an air ratchet or impact or anything to put them in. Pop your rubber off. Grab the uh, grab your next plug. And again, I you know, get the shop. Use just a just a dab and never sees. Um, you don't want to be a slob with that. And just go right down. Do all four, pretty much the same way. All right. So after you got them all started by hand, just go back through with your spark plug socket and uh, just finish, finish tighten them down if you didn't get them all the way. And once you feel it bottom, after, after you feel that, uh, you know, just tighten up lightly, you're gonna wanna go about a sixteenth of a turn. And that, that's about all you need on, on this style spark plug. Um, you just run it till it stops, you know, just kind of lightly by hand. And like I said, about, about, just about a sixteenth of a turn. You don't wanna, don't wanna overdo these. Just do all four the same. And that's as simple as that. Uh, next we'll, uh, we'll be putting the coils back on. Okay, at this point, um, you wanna take your ignition coils. You wanna kinda of go back over them and look and check out this uh, insulating rubber on the uh, ignition coils. You just kinda of give them a little squeeze around where they go on the spark plug. Um, just kinda of pay attention to them, see if they're, you know, just still malleable, still rubbery. <laughs> uh, make sure there's no, no cracks or splits. You don't see any, any kind of carbon tracking where the spark's been jumping out. And if they, uh, if they look bad, you can go ahead and replace those. Uh, they are available aftermarket. Um, a lot of companies that make these uh, rubber boots, uh, you can get those and replace them if they're needed. Uh, if everything looks good there, um, you're just doing this out of maintenance, uh, get a little bit of uh, uh, dielectric silicone compound. I can pick this up at uh, any, any parts store. What you want to do is just, just, put a, just put a little bit in the end of each spark plug boot. A little bit on there, wipe it on. And go ahead and just uh, insert the coils uh, into their appropriate holes. I've already gone through and inspected the rubbers on these ones, so I know they're all good. Put them back in. I'm going to take all the bolts that we removed uh, earlier and uh, let's go ahead and put them back in. And just starting them all by hand. All right, now that you've gotten all those tight, let's go back through and plug your coils back in. You should hear it click. Connectors in. Those are installed. Push in on the back to your gray locks that you removed previously, and you'll hear those clicking also. And that's as simple as that. Uh, the next step would be is to uh, hop in the car, start it up, make sure the engine's smooth. Uh, shouldn't be any skipping or shaking. Um, so we'll do that right now. So you can see this engine runs smooth. Um, if something had gone wrong in the process, the engine would be would be shaking, you know, pretty violently. Uh, but you can see it runs smooth. Uh, so the next step would be is just to shut the car off, uh, reinstall your engine cover, and as simple as that. A uh, simple task like this would get you a better mileage uh, and just uh, good preventative maintenance.